Okay, once your PSP is in USB mode, you need to go to the PSP slash game folder, and then you need to delete the K-Exploit patcher and the K-Exploit patcher percentage folders, because you do not need those anymore. Okay, now you need to go back to your instruction manual, and you need to do the next step, which is, once done it, or if you are under any special open edition M33, copy the M33 creator folder to your MSO PSP game folder, which is for 1.5 firmware, or MS0 PSP Game 150 folder, which is for special and open edition firmware. So what we need to do is you need to go to the archive, double click on the, dub the double dot bus um, folder, sorry, go back, and you need to drag and drop the M33 creator folder into your PSP slash game folder. And copy over, and that's done. Go to the next step. Download official 3.52 eBoot, rename it to 352.pbp, and place it on MS0 PSP Game th M33 Creator Folder. So what we need to do is you need to go to the link that I provided, the second link on my video description, and you scroll down the web page. You can find the 3.5x link. Click on that. Scroll down this page and find the 3.52 firmware update, and click on that. Scroll again, and then find the download link, click on that. Open the archive. This may take a minute, because it is quite big. Okay, I'll pause it until it's read, it's finished. Okay, the um, download is nearly finished now. Okay, when it's finished, this will pop up. Right, you just need to extract this eboot.pbp file into any way you want, just for now, temporarily. So I'm just going to put it in this temporary folder I've just created. So just drag and drop or extract it if you want. Okay, now it's there. Now the instruction said to rename it 352.pbp. So just type in 352 and it's already a PBP file so you don't need to rename that bit and that's there so now you need to drag that into your M33 creator folder that you just created if I can find it there it is drag and drop into that folder next to the other eboot.pbp file ok now it's copied now we can do the next step The next step says to download the official 1.5 eBoot, rename it to 150.pbp and place it in the same folder. So we won't do that now, so go back to the website and click on back. Click back again. Now you want to scroll back up. You want to click on the 1.50 link. scroll down here and you want to download the 1.5 eBoot so click on that take you to this page here scroll down again and click on the download link now just like before click on open or save if you want to well, this isn't as big as the other file but it is still pretty big so I'll pause the video right now ok that's nearly downloaded now Here it is. So what we need to do now is copy that to the um, temporary folder that we made earlier. Just drag and drop as before. And the instructions said to rename that 150. So just type in 150, press enter. And then it's ready to um, 
copy over to our M33 creator folder. So just drag and drop over there. And that step's now done. See, we've got the eboot.pbp file, which is the actual program. We've got the 352.pbp file and the 150.pbp file. So now we can go to the next step. And it says, go to game slash memory stick on your PSP and execute 3.52 M33 creator. Once finished, it will go back to the XMB. So we'll now need to go to our PSP for the next step.